Hello, I am James Edward Raggi IV, and I am here to talk to you about one of our new releases. But first, a little bit about myself and my connection to this release. You see, the past few years specifically, and well, my whole life generally, I've been rather unkind to myself. Because, you see, I don't cope well with stress and crisis. So my coping mechanisms for stress and crisis are, shall we say, unhealthy. And the problem is, I know they're unhealthy even as I'm doing them. But, even as I'm realizing that, the stress and anxiety go away. And I always tell myself, as soon as this crisis is done, as soon as this stressor passes, then I will focus on myself. I will be kind to myself and get healthier. The problem is, uh, there's always another crisis. There's never, never, never a reduction in this. The stress never goes away. And so saying, when things are back to normal, I'll deal with this. But in the meantime, I need a little help to get through. That's, this just turns into a lifetime of doing whatever to get through and never solving the problem. And the past couple years, there's been a global crisis. And as I understand it, a lot of people have been unkind to themselves. Maybe not in the same way, but in some way. And as we've seen, just in the past couple months, we, we see how one crisis melts into another. And, and once the current crisis is solved, there will be another one to take its place, or maybe another one rises up and pushes. So that's, you know, so that's been my life for the most part. And I always look for ways to figure out how to break that cycle. How, how do I stop just dealing with stress and crisis defensively? How do I do it proactively? And I think about the people that I admire. The people that, you know, they, they, they are kind to themselves. They take care of themselves. They do the things that need to be done, even with the chaos of the world around them. It's not that they don't have the stress. It's not that they're not affected by the different crises. They just have better coping mechanisms than some of us do. And what, what do these people have in common, as far as I can tell? They all have in their life a purpose. Not the same purpose. Everyone's got found an individual purpose that gives their life meaning. And that's it, isn't it? Meaning. And I thought I found my purpose and meaning to my life with this whole publishing thing. And yeah, that, that solved almost all of the old problems. That, that made the old crises seem less intense, but 
doing this job creates its own stress. It has its own crises. And my coping mechanisms never changed. Never updated. So I fall into the same traps and it just seems the older I get, the harder I fall down the same holes. So there must be an even greater meaning than publishing this stuff, right? But how, how do you find that meaning? And, and then I realized, and it's, it's thanks to this new book, which I'll talk about in a second, but I realized that tabletop gaming always had the answer. For over 40 years, the answer's been right out there in front of everyone, in public. Thanks to tabletop role-playing. It's time management. That's how you find your meaning. When you pay attention on about, pay attention to how you spend your time. You know how much you're wasting and what you're wasting it on. You know exactly how much time you're spending on the things you're supposed to do. You keep track of how much time you're taking for yourself, being kind to yourself. And who pays attention to that? Well, turns out Kelvin Green pays attention to that. Because when he turned in his new adventure, which the book has just been printed, strict time records must be kept, it, it, it just hit me. Like, it hit me really hard. That all of the, you know, this adventure, which is a fine adventure on its own, requires keeping track of time and that's when it hit me because the the title references the old the old books that that tell you how important it is to keep track of time and it hit me this isn't just a game thing this adventure isn't just to give you a fun game which which it will but it also will give serious life lessons really, uh, about how to manage your life and, and, and just see where you're falling short and how little you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And that's amazing. I, I mean, the, that, that's really amazing. And when the, the final version of the book with the layout and the art came together a month or so ago when it went to press, I, I was having trouble figuring out how I'd communicate this to all of you because what Kelvin Green has done with this book and what he's going to do for everybody that, that really understands what he's done, it's, he's, he's going to help so many people. I mean, I'll, I, I'm the first to see it, so I just want to say, look... I'll, Kelvin Green, thank you so much for what you've done for me and what you're going to do for maybe thousands of other people once they see this. Thank you. You are such a good person for doing this. That's how impactful this is going to be. And that also makes me guilty. It makes me feel guilty because... Sure, I'm presenting this work, and I'll be profiting off of it for sure, but that's not the same as me doing something for the people the same way Kelvin has by creating this book. And, and I had to think about that. I, I want to help people. And then... I, I, this isn't much, but what I came up with was, you know, I'm recording this Sunday, April 10th. I hope to have the video up the same day. So this book goes on sale 
Monday, April 11th. Tomorrow, hopefully, if this video is up on time. And uh, you'll... The first person to order this book tomorrow from the LOTFP EU web store, which we're, we'll be debuting, gets this copy, this specific copy of this book. And I know just on video, you're not going to understand why this copy is so special. Uh, how can I describe this? I mean, I haven't showered in several days so there is this scent this this musk that's just well, <sighs> it, it's so amazing I've never regretted so much being as inflexible as I am I've never regretted that so much as right now. And frankly, it's all I can do to just pick this book up and just lick the back cover and just... <laughs> but... But I'm wanting to think of you. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to sacrifice the pleasure to me to give that to you, the first person that orders this book. Because that's the least I can do. And, you know, I thought, well, why can't I do this for everyone then? But it's, it's that time management thing. Because to, to properly do this for, you know, so many books, it would just take so long and I've got to shower at some point you know hygiene not not just social graces but hygiene so we're going to keep this to be a special item first person that orders gets this book and hopefully with the plastic you know it gets wrapped in it'll it'll survive the the shipment I don't know if it's going to be someone in Finland or you know we ship to Japan and India and everywhere else so Hopefully, wherever you are, you first person, once it gets to you, it'll still be fresh. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. You know, I'll, I'll be talking a little later on more about what the adventure's about and what the specific features are. But I just, I thought you all deserve to know just how important a work this is. And how much it's going to change lives. So, thank you for listening. And once again, Kelvin, thank you so, so much.